Hey, Aaron. Hey, Scott. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm sitting in my chair. No way, me too. Oh, do you want more specific? Yeah. I was on Talking Beards tonight. Oh, are you serious, Clark? Oh, yeah. It's a very exciting episode. We have some pretty amazing breaking news tonight. Well, could it be something about a really cool online competition that Talking Beards is throwing? That is correct. On May 9th, oh my. 2020. And who who is our guest? Brett Strauss, CEO and founder and six-time world's most sexiest man, Brett Strauss. Oh, what? he's the founder of what? FHL. Oh. My bad. I don't yeah. know. I got, I got <laughs> hey, that's FHL all right. FHL owner. Yeah, Brett Strauss. So you guys make sure that you guys uh, check out the Talking Beards podcast uh, edition right now because we're going to learn a lot about the competition. We're going to learn about how we're going to judge it and how the FHL is going to be involved with us and do fantasy facial hair. This is awesome. It is awesome. Let's go listen when. You can listen right now. Welcome to the Talking Beards podcast an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. <sighs> this is going to be an exciting I'm episode. Not. I just feel it. I, I feel, feel it in my it. bones. My gosh, <sighs> I'm tired. Why? I don't know. Let's go to bed. I'm just like, <sighs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm so I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, you know what else are you ready for? No, I'm not ready at all. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we can not can be ready to get there. No, you're ready. Go for it. I mean, I've been ready. I'm you're always ready. ready. I'm always ready. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, hey. N- uh, now I am ready. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Oh, in Kara, I am not Kara. always confused. You're in Kara, confused. he's always confused. It's because he's so old. Like, once you get as old as Scott, like, you just, like, you know. Aaron. Normal normal things like breathing and stuff is, like, super hard. What? Zip it. You shut up. Knock, knock. Um, you who's shut there? up. See, I told shut you. Shut up who? You. Shut up who, you, who? You shut up. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, we are, uh, we're live. Uh, it is Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern. Do you know where your children are? Yeah, they're watching uh, Talking Beards right now. Of course. Um, yeah, so everybody should be watching us right now. There's 43,000 people watching. Um, that's uh, about 20,000 more than we're watching us on Saturday. So I know. That's, that's a heck of an improvement. Well, we were going on at a weird time, and you know, usually, to everyone's like, "Oh, it's Tuesday." We already know what's going on Tuesday. It's yeah, everybody beards. like they set their clocks and everything, and everybody just settles down. And you know, you got probably Tyler Hill and you know Andrew and all the all, all the normal people. They like all right, they get their TV dinner out, and you know their milkshake and a TV, watch talking beards. TV dinner. Yeah, isn't that what you eat? When you watch TV, a TV dinner. On a TV tray. Yeah. In front of exactly. the TV. You got it. We're on YouTube, so everybody can watch us on their TV now. So, you know, there, there's that. So, hey, everybody. This is episode number 68 of Talking Beards. Guess what that means next week is. That's right. So, um, Talking Beards, the competition. Uh, tonight's guest will be Brett Strauss, the CEO of owner and guru of uh the fhl app so we will dive into that after a while and you know everybody knows that he's he's been voted six times 
world's most sexiest man. Did you know that? I did not know that. But Justin Slater is here with us. AJ Slater's uh, or AC Slater's cousin. I suppose who's AJ <laughs> Slater? Oh, AJ Slater's AC Slater's third cousin. I don't know if you knew that. Yep, Scott Webster gets it. So yeah, I'm Aaron D. Johnson. Uh, tonight and every night, I am uh, all the time. That's who I am. All day, <laughs> every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. That's what you sound like. All day, every day. Yeah. Who, who are you? I'm Scott. Scott Sakura all day, every day. Just like you, Aaron. You can find me on the Facebook. You can find me on the Twitter. You can find me on the Instagram. But we want you to find us at Talking Beards on the Facebook. Or you can go over to TalkingBeards.com where you can watch the show live over there right now. And dot you can com. Also, dot com. We're a dot com. Yeah, we're just a community. Yeah. We're not like a dot org or a dot net. No, no organizations or networks here. That's not us. But uh nope. yeah, and you can go over there and when you go over to the page, uh you will see a new thing at the very top that says competition. Oh my gosh. We we don't know anything about that, so No. Um, uh, someone just stuck it on there, but look at this. Look at this. Look at Did that. you see this at the beginning of the show, everybody? Look I, how beautiful this is. I did not Tyler see that. Tyler Hill created this. It looks good. Look at this. Okay. I wonder if he's any relation to Benny. Uh, yeah, they're uh, 14th cousins. Hmm. Yeah, it's like dad's brother's uncle's cousin's nephew, sister's brother, I think. Oh, hey, Benny Hill. so many great people in here. Don Shea's here. Don Shea of Shea Butter and Associates. Tyler Hill's here of... So Benny many. Hill's cousin. And Fawn right. Hall. Yeah. Who am I? Fawn Hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at the beginning and at the top of the show every week when we uh, go live, we ask you guys to do one super awesome, really cool thing for us. <laughs> you need to share. Share this episode. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. Remember that time you and Brett saw Cher? Holy cow, this is I wish I would remember that. Yeah, you were uh you were <laughs> inebriated. Yeah. Oh, that was the middle of the afternoon. Share this episode. Share it. <laughs> oh my lord. Picture. I didn't show it to you. <laughs> I know well, you showed me a different one which I thought was still funny though too. Well, hey, look at this. Uh-oh. Angela Alba Dorico is here. So Hopefully Hello? you get feeling better, Angela. Hello, Angela. Hi, I'm Angela. Hearts, hearts. Hearts, hearts. Stars. They're stars, not hearts. What? I thought they were. Just like her kiss oh. star on her face. <laughs> star, star. Oh, my bad. Star Johansson. <laughs> star Johansson. Is he even here? I don't know. He's somewhere around here, so... But, uh, all right. So after we, uh, share, we go into the BS button beard bulletin board. Now, if you people want to know what the BS button beard bulletin board is, you know what? Bam. Find out right That's what it is right there. There it is. What it is, is it's a place for anyone who watches the show to go over and post something or whatever they'd like. If they have an upcoming online beard competition or something and they want to post it over there. You can do it. If you're having a bake sale and you're trying to raise money for the local orphanage because you can post it there too. Because if it burned down. And uh yeah, so you guys can share whatever you guys would like over there. And uh when you do that, then we'll talk about it on this week's show. So we don't have much going on because like we did a show on Saturday. Uh, when we were over in England, and uh, so we we blazed through a lot of the BS Button Beard bulletin board. I guess I gotta re- reload this. Oh yeah, we've got a good one right on the top to reload that thing. It's gonna be uh, she must Don Childress must be hanging out with Ben Samuels because this is a Ben Samuels move right here. Look at this. Look at these guys. <laughs> Don Childress talking beards is live right now. Look at that. Wow, we're watching picture ourselves work. Picture. Look at me. I'm going to wave. You'll, you'll wave me. in a minute. I'm going to see when I wave. I'm not waving yet. Boy, I must Gosh, be really dude. far behind. 
You are so far behind right that's, now. That's called the, the dump button, because if someone swears, we have to dump them. Dump them. Dump them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so um, everybody, tune over to uh, Talking Beards. They do a show every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty good information to have. Uh, Dennis Morgan shared a post. The Artist Series, Black Label Society, Ooh. Sonic Brew, Premium Quality Beard Balm. Dude, that's a freaking awesome oil little little jar. I need that in my life. Ooh, go check that out. That's pretty cool. It's on sale for twenty dollars. No, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. All Black right. Black Label Society beard oil. Now tell us about this, Aaron. Yeah. So uh, Christina M. Algaretti posts on there for the uh, see. Oh, it's another raffle for uh, like they did over on the. Uh, oh my gosh. Weirdos, weirdos, and West Green is there. It is. Yeah. So, um, five dollars a spot, over four hundred dollars in product and swag. They'll open up two hundred and fifty spots to start. Go ahead and go to paypal.me slash just one can, and uh, you'll be held over on Beardos, Weirdos, and Whiskerinas. They'll have one winner takes all in the picture. Like, look at all that stuff that you will win. There you go. Each raffle ticket is five dollars a piece. So. Go ahead and buy a bunch of raffle tickets, and gosh, there's a lot of good stuff over there. So it looks so good there. Yep, all the money goes to this one. So this is great. All right, Amanda Forceman. She's like, "Hey guys, show me your favorite bearding mug." And just as no sooner does that come, but I get a well, you can't see this, but a message from Crystal Davis. Crystal Davis drinking out of the. Scott's Who's That Mug. Do you see her? Oh, I see it. Hi, hey, I'm Crystal Davis. I'm drinking out of my Scott Who's That coffee cup. Ooh, ooh. That's what she sounds like. <laughs> sounds perfect. That's perfection. That's a cool coffee cup, though. I do like that coffee cup a whole lot. Look at that. Mad the Bearded Sinners Beard Club of Central Washington is drinking out of their Mad Viking cup. Melanie Carter has a really cool one there. Wow. Look at this. I shared this one last night. So this old lady who's 93, she needed more beer. So guess what? Coors sent her 127,000 cans to her house. She'll be, be, she'll be good and uh, hydrated for a while. I know. She needs more beer. That's so nice. So nice of Coors Light. Coors Light. Like, we got you, lady. Once again, which one's better, people? Let's see. The vote on the shirt. Um. Uh, Michelle Emerson needs them both. That's that's been the general consensus. Uh, now yeah. left. Uh, Scott. One with me is much better. Right. Agree. Both. Bra. Left. Both. It's pretty much a toss up right now. Yeah. So and that's all we have for the BS button beer bulletin board for today. That was it. That's oh, it. Oh, there's more. There's more. Keep going. Oh, there is. Oh yeah, keep going. There's more. Oh, that's right. It, it all came out in a weird, weird way. This one. Everybody and, go vote for Andrew. Yeah. If you Everybody, go, go yeah. On. Click on it. Open it up. Go to the page. Not, don't vote on the BS Buttons post. Make sure you go to the Level Up Beard Company post and yeah, you, smash right that here, B button. Right here. Yeah. Go there. This is what This is the link you want to hit right there, right in that spot. There you go. Open it up. Go find this picture. And uh, you have till uh, 9.30 tonight in, on the East Coast. So yes. 8.30 Central tonight. Everybody, go vote for Andrew. Go vote for the B. <laughs> but we'll wait. Everybody could just go click on that. All right. Uh, next one, the prehistoric beard bash. The uh, 11th, or does that say? The 11th Annual Beard and Mustache Competition, benefiting the Missouri Institute of Natural Science. Uh, when did I only see the date on here? There's not a date. They're, uh, it's canceled. It was on May 2nd. So they're still going to raffle the, off. The shirts. And, Selling shirts. Uh, yeah. Right here. The shirts. Selling. And I think they're going to do all the raffle items and all that and try to get as much money as they can. So go ahead and go over to the Queen City Beard and Mustache Federation page. Click the link and uh, follow the instructions and see what you have to do to go ahead and help their charity out tonight. So 
Uh, Amare Amare posted, uh, the uh, Beardweiser shop is changing, diversifying, finding new scents and products to offer you. Um, we want you to go over, check out, go like, like, let's like it as the page there. There you um, go. The Beardweiser shop, go click on it. Um, they have a whole bunch of cool stuff over there. You know, as a lot of businesses are kind of struggling right now uh, with the stuff going on in the world, you know, if, you, if you're looking for something new, uh, you know, go over and uh, check out Beardweiser. Check them out. Check them out. Fawn Hall. Who am I? No? I can't see you. Oh. You're small. You're small, too. I assume you're being Fawn Hall. I was. Uh, this is all the stuff that she won from uh, the Beard Mob Florida's uh, first raffle that they did. She won lots of really good stuff. Yeah, their, their, laugh, their raffles were really loaded up over there. So, you know, help out just one. It's a great cause. Christina is a huge fan of the show and a good friend of ours. So help her out and go over there to Beardos, Weirdos, and Whiskerinas and purchase raffle tickets. And maybe you could also win a very awesome prize pack. And don't forget, Tisha Chicken Bread, the Texas Craft Whisker Club, is doing an online meetup on Monday, April 13th. Yesterday. That was yesterday. And they're also going to do one next Monday. They want guys involved because okay. they want to know what's in your competition bag. All right. So, yeah. Next, what, Sunday? Monday. Next Monday. So, yeah, go over to uh, Texas Craft Whisker Club and find out more. All right. So, now what Now what do we do, Aaron? Now what happens? Now, we need to bring in the world-famous uh, Beard Laws Beard Correspondent to the Stars, Matt mcclear to angela's eyes do beard news stars what oh yeah angela's eyes star star oh hey oh hey guys wow that was the greatest introduction i think i've ever had look at that look at that guy new studio i got the new new studio it was being worked on while we were across the across the pond so uh you know it turned out pretty nice yeah trying to do a little different you know angle over here you know for for the fans so Let's get into it. Good evening. I'm Matt, and this is your Talking Beard News, brought to you by Beard Laws. Feels good to be back home after being across the pond last week. I have never drank as much tea ever in my life. Thanks to you guys for including me in the trip. It was a blast. In this week's news, we talk about beards. Imagine that. We have talked and read uh, so many articles about what to do with your beards during the events happening around the world. We have told you guys our thoughts and what we found during our research, but still some people are hesitant to listen. I know we might not look like the smartest, but when it comes to beards, we know what we're talking about. I mean, even Nico knows to listen most of the time. Yes. So an article released by NPR.org about what you should do with your beard. Everyone knows that NPR wouldn't let you down, right? They opened the article with, I believe, some old talking beard news saying how famous people like Jim Carrey are growing their beard out and posting hashtag quarantine beard on social media. They then got right into it, saying the mere presence of facial hair won't put you or others at risk. We may not be doctors when we told you this news, but Dr. Amish Adalja is a uh, world-renowned infectious disease specialist. That's what we did wrong, guys. We didn't find ourselves an infectious disease doctor for our article. This one's on me. I'll do better next time. Dr. Adalja said, there's no evidence that having a beard per se makes you more or less vulnerable to the coronavirus. There is even a debate amongst infectious disease specialists over whether the CDC's recommendation to wear masks is even an effective measure. Imagine being in a room for that debate. Why not live stream it? It could be pretty interesting. Interesting. It'd probably be more entertaining than the NBA's game of horse that they broadcasted over the weekend. He did say that he would probably advise them to trim it as close to their face as they could if they are going to be one of those individuals who wants to wear a mask in public. Even this doctor agrees that shaving the beard is not a great idea. Thanks to Dr. Adalja and NPR for writing a proper article about quarantine beards. They conclude their article with one of the greatest lines I've read through this coronavirus so far. All told, as long as bearded folk maintain the recommended six feet of separation from other people, it appears safe to stay distanced <clears throat> from their razors. So stay safe, everybody. You stay safe. 
I've been staying fairly safe. <laughs> but it's, that does not work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I guess not over. I mean, at least the news uh, desk looked good there. It did. It did look good. So, yeah, it's nice. A, a real doctor has kind of been confirming and, and I think reading or, and seeing a lot of the articles that we've been doing on this. What is that? What were we doing? I don't now? know. Do this. I don't know. I, I thought it was good, and then the camera reverse got it. Or am I supposed to kick like a football through it? That's what I was like. like I was like, if no, I had one, I'd be flicking that. it. I, I, I can't make one real uh, fast enough. You can't do it. No, I can't do it. Pew. Spencer is here. He's like, cheers, cheerio, fellas. Yeah, Spencer yep. has already registered for the uh, Talking Beards of the Competition, as did Matt McLeod. Oh! So. Yeah, everybody get over there and click the links. Go to the Eventbrite page, purchase your tickets, and yeah, everybody be involved in our competition. We'll we'll uh we'll get through this together. So we'll, I'm excited. we'll all we'll all learn. All right. <laughs> so but uh as we get rid of Matt here real quick, um as soon as we're done with Matt, we're gonna go into uh what the whole competition's about. We're gonna talk to you guys all about it. We're gonna unveil it. And uh, explain to everyone what the plan is. So, uh, Matthew, thank you for uh, coming in and doing the news tonight. Uh, who do you got yeah. on Thursday night? Uh, Thursday night is going to be um, Reed. Uh, he goes by Reed the Lama King on TikTok. His real name is Reed Edgit. He is a publicized author, verified on TikTok, and, and he also does video games and stuff like that. So, When are you going to get verified on TikTok? Um, probably right after never. Mm. I think you... I- I'll verify you. Okay, as soon as I get that Guinness World Record for the Easter eggs, then then I think they'll they'll recognize that I'm real. <laughs> so, have you reached out to any Guinness people when you've been doing these world record things, or you just I hit them up, but uh, it, it's very like months ahead of time. So by right. the time I think to do it, it's going to be probably Christmas during Easter, and I yeah, I, I should try to. I'm going to try to plan it for actual. Um, Christmas time and see mm-hmm. what we can do. And I've, I spoke with Joel Nurt. I don't know if you guys know Joel, but he's a record holder with five Guinness records, I think. That's the guy you had on your show a couple weeks ago? Yep. Yep. So yeah, he's I kind of been offering some some tips and advice as well. Sweet. Yeah. That that sticker is actually right over here and he's staring at me all the time. It's starting to get creepy. That's hot. But, that is. You know, that way I'm never alone. I'm never alone here. I'll always be at your side, Matt. All wow. right, Matthew. Well, thank you for popping in. Beardlaws.com. Go check them out. We thank you very much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thanks, guys. Have a good show. Peace. All right. Thank you. All right. So here it is, everyone. Are Jeremy guys- Owens is already registered for the competition, too. Thank you, Jeremy Owens. I got your picture, and you're uh, all registered and good to go. So Okay, here you go. This is it, people. Oh, my gosh. It's Talking Excited. Beards, the competition. This is what we've been working on for the past few weeks. Um, and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, who and what we're doing it for, Aaron. Yeah, so we're, we are going to do it for the Family Center in uh, Wilmore, Kentucky. That is my sister's charity. Uh, she runs the Family Center there in the small town of Kentucky. They do a lot of uh, arts and crafts stuff. They do a lot of things for uh, stay-at-home moms and then just a little bit of everything. You know, like a lot of uh, people in that community, they do a lot of uh, homeschooling, and she does a lot of homeschool events, and then they'll bring in uh, arts and crafty people, and then they'll do, like, bake sales. And just she's very involved in that community, and that community just – absolutely adores her and everything they do and they they don't make any money over this thing so everything that they put together and do is all you know donation based type stuff um and yeah so due to the coronavirus and the whole everybody stay at home and you know quarantine and all that stuff there's there's going to be a lot of these uh, nonprofits that unfortunately aren't going to make it i mean that's that's just the unfortunate thing that's going to happen to a lot of these things that, you know, rely on people coming by and doing donations. And, you know, that's, that's their whole staying afloat deal. And when everybody's stuck at home, people aren't coming by and people aren't going to be able to do donations and come by and volunteer and stuff like that. If, you know, like I said, they're stuck at home. So uh, we're going to do our best to try to help out the family center there in Wilmore and make sure that that community keeps their 
they're centered together so everybody has a place to go and meet and greet and all that good stuff so she can keep doing all the good stuff that she's doing for her community so all right thank you all right so we are doing a 15 category competition here and we are actually going to be hosting it on the facial hair league app um, we're going to be bringing Brett in here in a second, uh, and he's going to explain how this is all working. He's going to show you guys how to do everything, explain everything. Um, but make sure you guys go over and download the uh, FHL app. Most of you people already have it on your phones anyways because we've been us- utilizing the FHL app for years in uh, lots of different competitions we've uh, done. So it should be something that you guys all have. If not, make sure you go over to the Google Play Store and the App Store. Um, and just a little bit about Hopefully them. you're going to the, the, the Apple store. Yeah. Hopefully you're not very many of you Android people. Hopefully. All right. So we have uh, 15 categories. We have a quarantine beard and that's pretty much for anyone that's, you know, had a job and they couldn't go to work and they're staying at home. And most of those people just stop shaving and now they have like this on the sides, but, um, but anyways, and we'll, I'll, we'll go through the rest of these here in a little bit. But um, real quickly, we have a four-step system on how this works. Um, currently, we're looking at this on the Talking Beards page, uh, dot, talkingbeards.com slash the competition. Um, or if you just go to talkingbeards.com, just hit competition at the top. It'll take you to this page. Direct links to everything you need to know. Or if you're on the Facebook page, we have an event page there also real easy links to click and everything. So you're going to go to the event bright page. You're going to pick, you're going to click on ticket to purchase your ticket, which as of right now, we're not charging anything for tickets. We're just accepting donations. So if you want to donate donation based. Yeah. So if you want to donate uh, $2, $5, $7, $25, $1, $1 million. If you want to donate $1 million, you can. So whatever you can afford, whatever you want to give, it's all up to you and you get to be a part of this really cool thing. Um, and then make sure you, uh, then you pick your category. Um, and then you will down, go, go and download the FHL app and, um, make sure you create an account over there if you don't have one already and use the same email address that you guys used to buy your tickets. Um, and then you'll get some email reminders and then we'll have you send us a picture and everything. But yeah, so either you email us a picture or we will reach out to you and, and get a picture, but make sure that it is a current picture. So no, uh, dolled up, you know, competition photos or anything like that so you know Did we fluff your s- beard out make it look good you know take you a good selfie have someone else take your picture but it we we would like for it to be a very current photo so this is kind of on a honor society deal here so just yeah pretty pretty simple you know like i said just yes purchase your ticket for your category and then go from there so yeah eric brooks yeah uh freestylers <laughs> so you just want to like any day that you, from here on out, if you want to do like a freestyle beard, take a couple hours to put it together, throw something together really quick, just pop a selfie, and uh, then uh, we'll just get an email, and everything will take care of it from that point. Absolutely. So the the freestyle that you take a picture of once, you know, one after you, like if you want to do it tonight and you take a freestyle, boom, you're done. You're registered. That's the picture we're going to judge. So everybody's in quarantine freestyle it up so yeah that's so, we're not going to require you to do a freestyle that day it's it's within the next couple two or three weeks yeah so but uh to get on to the next step here we're going to bring brett strauss in the creator of the H- fhl uh, the facial hair league and uh he's gonna talk to us a little bit about what the fhl is a few people don't know what it is and we're just going to talk to him about how handsome he is mostly <laughs> <laughs> Six time world's most sexiest man. <laughs> oh, of FHL app and uh, just all around guru to the stars, Brett Strauss. That's a hell of an intro, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> thanks for setting. Thanks for setting your audience up for a lot of disappointment here. They're not <laughs> disappointed. They get to look at you for the next few minutes. I'll give you four bucks for that one. Fair enough. Hey guys, you get it? thanks hey. for having me on. Because <laughs> you have four bucks behind you. I do. I got a couple. Was that a dad joke? No. Oh, actually, yeah. yes, it was. 
Ah, very nice. Hey guys, thanks for having me on. Hey, yeah, well, thanks for coming on. We've been we've been seeing your lovely face quite frequently over the past three weeks, trying to get this thing all set up and all uh, going and everything. But why don't you just give us a little bit of a backstory about what the FHL is and you know how you got involved in the whole thing? Sure. Um, you know, it's been about four years since I first kind of. Uh, got turned on to the whole subculture of competitive bearding. Uh, and I went to an event out in Fort Worth. Uh, and I actually competed in that one, which I don't didn't compete that much afterwards. Um, didn't place, was way out of my league, but still enjoyed the afternoon, met some really nice folks, uh, and, and, and attended a number of events after that and just enjoyed, and really enjoyed the community and the people. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was at the events, and, uh, you know, one of my biggest difficulties in life is I am off the charts ADD. I have to be busy. And sometimes I would go to these beard competitions. And to me, I, I couldn't just sit there and drink a beer. I had to do something. I had to be moving. I had to be involved. I had to help in some way. And went to a couple of these events. And I noticed that everyone was doing very much the same thing in different locations. You know, the process, the steps, uh, there were subtle differences in style and things, but it, it, at its core, these were competitions with judging and checking and registration. Um, and I, I saw some clubs were were having a little difficulty running the events, uh, keeping things on paper and, and, and getting everything kind of coordinated. And I've been in software most of my life. I've been running a software company for 20 years and i just kind of sat down and 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 marked up some concepts and just felt like we could like a, like my team could put together an application that would help this community um something to allow them to have less stress on the day of a competition uh and less running around and um uh, just allow really allow the clubs that were putting on the events to enjoy the events. A lot of times there was a lot of scrambling and, you know, there's already a lot of stress with putting on these events, guys. There, uh, there are, are, are hundreds of people coming into town. Uh, there's, you know, restaurants, there's coordination, there's printing. I mean, just there's so much work that goes into putting on a, a, a nonprofit competition like this of, of any type. Um, and it's just, I, I thought it was really would be nice if the people that were putting on the competition could actually enjoy that day because that tends to be the most stressful day of, uh, as you can imagine, that's the day that is the most stressful for everybody. Um, and so, yeah, I started uh, doing some coding and put together the app. Hey, you know, we, we did a lot of work. We did some test runs. We had some folks call in and help us do testing. Uh, we had a couple of clubs. Uh, you know, the very, very first club was the Minnesota Beard Club. Uh, and they used our app. And it, you know, in all honesty, it was not ready for prime time. It, it slowed their event down tremendously. Uh, but they were very good about it. Uh, and, and we learned from that. And we improved on it. And we improved on it. And, you know, we, we've done, uh, let me see, I logged into the app the other day. Let me check the numbers here. You're approaching 200. Uh, yeah, I think we're like 180, 190, something like that. We're right in that neighborhood uh, of, of, oh yeah, 195. We've done 195 beard competitions. And, you know, after a while, you get to the point where it is really running very smoothly. And I haven't had a single support call in the last six months of anybody that anybody that needed my help on the day of an event. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been great. I've enjoyed it. Uh, uh, the clubs that have adopted it really do like it. Um, some of the, uh, like the, um, the, the, the uh, guys out in California and Sacramento, the Northern California beer club, they've been using it every year for, I think five years. Uh, and I think it really does help relieve some stress on, some of the activities that are required to run a beard event. Look at that figure right there, 195,000 beard contestants. Wow, that's that's a lot. That, and it says content. 195,000 <laughs> beard content. Oh. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Uh, we've, got, we've got currently there are 8,418 registered beard competitors around the world. <laughs> uh, MJ is spreading a, fake news. I, 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 <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> Never, never here on Talking Beards has there ever been any fake news. It's all legit stuff. So, 
Yeah, and uh, you know, it there are a, n- a number of added features to the application, and it really does at its core. It handles the check-in registration. You can take pictures of the people when they compete. It assigns a, a number that matches with the tag, and then that number shows up with their picture for the judges. The judges use the app, and they have pictures in front of them, and they give them scores, and then they pick first, second, and third. The MCs are looking at the list and calling them up and seeing where they're from. Uh, and it, it really is a pretty cool little app. And on top of that, we have something we put together called Fantasy, Fantasy Facial Hair, which allows anybody to log in during a live event and select who they believe the winners will, will be picked by the judges. And then we run a quick algorithm that gives them a score based on how close they were. And then uh, you get to see who the winners are at the end. So, And, and some people love it. I mean, the, I, I enjoy going in the fantasy facial here. To be quite honest, I have never gotten better than third, and I think only got third once. I, I do not have a knack for it, but I do see a lot of familiar names uh, there are certain people that go in, and if 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 they're voting, I bet they're going to show up in the top five. They just I don't know how they do it, but they just they just got a a pulse on what's going on. Now, with all that being said, bringing up the fantasy beard competitions, uh, one thing that I'd kind of like to touch on is uh, how we are going to uh, judge our uh, talking beards the competition. So uh, yeah, so we're going to utilize that system. Um, so one thing that I kind of really thought would, would be fun and, you know, everybody kind of agreed would be just let everyone vote on it. So if you have played the, uh, fantasy beard game kind of on, uh, FHL, you will be voting for competition winners this yeah. time around. So first, second, not and third place, first, second, and third. So yeah, you, you won't just be voting to uh, kind of beat your friends or whatever, you will also be bo- voting for the winners. No. So you can you can beat your friends. They will. Yeah. There will be there will be one individual that will or or uh, one or more individuals that will get the highest score and will predict what the community or what the what the crowd will pick. But yes, the the, the idea is that will open up for for fantasy facial hair uh, voting, and then that those decisions and the general voting of the community will be plugged in as the winners and and that's who will pick so the community is going to pick this one so um one question brett i just you know it, it came to my attention that uh so generally at a beer competition if you're registered for that event you cannot vote correct that is correct so will that be the same situation that, with this that, that will be the same okay so if you are registered to yeah. vote or you are registered in this competition yeah unfortunately you will not be able to vote so. that's true uh okay. and and the reason we did that um was uh we had a number of competitors that would be on stage actually voting while they were walking across stage uh and we just figured you know what the competitors have an opportunity to win on stage let's give someone else an opportunity to win at home um uh, but if you're competing and you know your wife just so happens to create an fhl account or, night of you yep. know i'm just your or your mother, or your yeah, dog, or, or, or your cat, or anyone. Yes, or your box. Uh, yeah, we just we oh. just block competitors uh, from actually uh, doing fantasy facial hair. League. Yeah, so there's there's always a, a way around things. So I, I didn't say that, but <laughs> I said it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, that was the one aspect that we really wanted to bring. This was to make it just like a fantasy football league, you know, but make it for the people out there to enjoy, you know. You know, or have, like a fantasy bearding league. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Boy, you're so dumb. Interesting. Trademark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh and 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 we'll be putting together some prizes for the winners. Um and we'll be putting together some prizes for the fantasy facial hair winners and one one master prize for the person that actually gets the highest score a nice a nice little package of uh, of, of assorted sundries and gifts um, and also um first second and third will also get a uh a uh, prize from honest amish as well so yeah they yeah they've agreed to uh help us out with this and supply all the products and everything for our top first second and third place people Oh, real You'll cool. get lots of cool beard mail. Yeah. So make sure that you put your address in 
when you purchase yeah. your ticket. I put a little link on there that said that that was one of the required questions. So make sure you put your shipping address because you will be getting beard mail, you know, after this competition. Uh, real yeah. quick, uh, Matt asks, not able to vote for your category at all. So is not it cool? at all at all at all? You uh, you're only allowed to compete one way, either as a competitor or as a fan. And, and you know, we did that because we didn't want. First of all. Beard competitors tend to be there, they're in the know, they know this community, and they have a distinct advantage, right? Uh, and you don't want to have someone that's going to win, you know, full beard freestyle, and then they're going to win fantasy facial hair when you got people at home that can't compete. And the, the idea is to open up and get more in, interaction from the community as a whole. Andrew Matson asks, does the person that wins fantasy overall get to punch Scoot in the neck? <laughs> If you can find Scoot, then absolutely. I would say, so there you go. You get to punch Scoot right in the neck. Um, And not also, or sorry, also the people that are voted to win the first, second, and third are going to win, but also the people that are voting on the fantasy side of it too are also going to win. So the people that are the, that aren't competing in the competition and are scoring points will accumulate points, and whoever has the highest point count ends up winning some cool prizes too. So it's kind of on both sides of the fence. So that's why, you know, it's kind of cool to get your friends involved with it too, because, you know, the more people you have voting for you and voting the right way, you know, they could gain enough points that they could also win something too. You know, we wanted to get as many different people involved and introduce new people into the whole community that may not have any knowledge of what we're doing here. And, you know, that's been one of our biggest goals from when we started even when I started the beard caster stuff is to like introduce the whole beard and facial hair community and competition lifestyle to a whole new audience and try to, ex you know, grow the whole, the whole thing. Because, you know, the, the more people that are involved in it, the more good we can do for our communities, the more money we can raise for our charities and stuff like that. So, you know, that was one of our biggest thoughts to this whole thing too, was trying to bring in a whole new side of people that aren't, you know, never have known about it. So, so Tisha asks, will, will there be enough people to vote? And do you also have to donate to vote? You do not have to donate to vote. Uh, to Yeah, so in order to vote, all you got to do is go to your FHL app and click on the competition when it goes live and click on the competitors. Um, yeah, I think there'll still be plenty of people to vote. Yeah, um, yeah absolutely. Now, since the voting will go live on May 1st, will they get – and the people that have signed up and have the FHL app, will they get an alert saying that judging will go live that day? Well, uh, judging can't begin until you launch the event. All right. So – and, and get, you know, getting back to the programming of the app, we had to build this in a way – uh, that flowed smoothly. So imagine this is a live event. Uh, originally, what we would before we added this feature, people would log in and they would vote on competitors before registration was done, and then they would not do very well because the people that would register late might win, and then they wouldn't get points. So what we did is we the way we programmed the system was. The MC has the ability to actually launch the event, and they launch the event when registration is complete. So what that does is that opens up the floodgates, and everyone's registered, and that's when voting starts. And then at the end, when the MC is calling the categories from the stage, they have to go through a process where they call up the category. They hit close category, and the second they do that, fantasy facial hair is done for that category and then it gives them the names of the top three finishers in in a mixed up order they call them to the stage and then you hit another button and then it reveals who first second and third is and then it goes on to the next category so it's very important that the that the categories open and close you want them to open after registration's completed and you want them to close before you announce the winner so we had to program it in that way right. so fantasy voting will be need to happen during the live event so from the moment it starts to the moment you you call the winners yeah, and that's so really how long you want to leave it open so we'll get it all figured out yeah. and, and and the truth is is um uh i don't know uh if you want to uh, uh 
do the registration uh, and complete it the day before or the day of. It's really kind of up to you how you want to run that. We'll do at least the day before, and that'll give everybody that'll give everyone a day to go right. in. And, and but the reality is, is uh, you can go in, and even in larger events we've had, which have had uh, over two hundred competitors, you can go in uh, and 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 not even be rushed and go through and do it all in ten minutes. At five minutes, really. I mean, it's yeah. it, it's pretty simple to do. We show you all the pictures of all the competitors, big pictures. You click on one, a little window pops up that says first, second, and third. You click on the position you want them to be in. You do all three. You hit submit, and then go on to the next category. Yeah. So this is if you if you've ever done any FHL judging, if you've ever done any FHL fantasy, it, it's going to be exactly like that. So. Everybody, everyone's saying right now that this is basically going to be the Super Bowl event of FHL. It's just what I'm hearing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rumors. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what. That's breaking news right now. So, yeah. yeah. And and another thing that we another thing that we were trying to accomplish with this too was you know if this does go good if it goes well you know we're going to continue doing events like these and compounding winners and kind of like bringing back like the you know the the highest point gainers from the last competition to go against like a whole new group of people, you know, and just try, trying to, you know, roll it all into like one gigantic thing at the end, you know, but we'll hopefully see. by yeah. that point we'll be going back to regular beard competitions. Yeah. Yeah. But then everybody's just going to want to do talking beards, FHL events and <laughs> breaking much news, easier that way. breaking news, Super Bowl of facial hair. See right there. You you're reading it. I didn't even put that. So wow, that's pretty good marketing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> Trademark. Super Bowl of facial hair. We have to yeah. get those shirts made for the winners. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guys have some time, I can go through and show you guys a little bit of the back end of the software that, that runs the events. Or um, I can give uh, let's see, we got about five more minutes with you. So what can you do? Well let me do this. Uh, in five minutes, let me show you how the fantasy facial hair results look so you can at least understand how the um uh, uh how the format is give me just a second i gotta do a couple of fancy things here put some lipstick on a little bit of rouge oh uh, golly i yes, thought it was yes, i thought i was really man. prepared for this let me see here air sir sorry it's a software problem that's always that's us congratulations process. Oh, and of course, it's not going to let me connect. Just my luck. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, let me see here. See if I can share my screen. Beautiful. Okay. So, can you see my screen there? Uh, yeah. There. Can you see that? So, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you pull that window right into the middle there? You want? Yeah, let's do that, guys. How's that? Better? There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the results of a past event. And this happened to be one I, I voted on, and I got fourth, which is pretty good for me, actually. And if you drag to the right, it's showing you, oh, wow, that's going to be a yeah. I don't, <laughs> hold on. I don't think we can do this. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me... Uh, <laughs> Let me do this. I'll open that up. And then, uh, come on, Brett. You're a software guy. You can do come this. Come on, Brett. All right, come how's on, that? Come Is on, that better? There you go. Okay. So uh, what we're looking at is the results, and you can see here on the left side, it shows what the judges picked, and this is an event that's closed, obviously, and on the right shot side, it shows you the, 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 the people that I picked, and you can see I got a perfect match, so I got 10 points for first, 9 for second, 8 for third, I got 27 points, um, and as you scroll through, you can see the comparisons of how the judges voted and how I voted. Uh, I'm doing pretty good there. Actually, I'm doing really good. I've gotten a hundred percent for the first three categories, uh, and then uh, see now in this one uh, I don't do so hot. Uh, I pick uh, someone for first place that doesn't even place, so I get zero points. 
I pick someone for second place that got that won first place, so I don't get the full nine points. I get seven points. So you understand there's a, a an algorithm running in the back end to determine how you get points. Uh, and then I really went off the rails with Whiskerina. Uh, and I always struggle with R- Whiskerina because uh, there are so many good beards in that category. And it tends to be um, uh, one of those things where it's kind of personal. And the people that pick them, pick them for different reasons. So it's, Whiskerina is always a tough, tough ta- category. Um, and then I did okay. I kind of bounced back. But yeah, I, actually, I did pretty good. I got fourth place. I guess that's not too, not too shabby. So uh, that's basically how the, the, the judging works is uh, it, you're not uh, – um, in, in this sense, you are contributing to help picking the winner, uh, but the, the, the system's going to run, the algorithm's going to run, and one person will probably uh, end up in first place, and you'll get a top three for Fantasy Facial Hair League as well. And a new car. Yeah. <laughs> and Brett Strauss will buy you a new car. Do you hear that? that? Breaking news. Or, a or he'll give you a, a door to a car. Or what are they, 10 doll hairs, like my <laughs> brother used to say? <laughs> but that's basically it. That's the app. Um, you'll be able to log in on the day of the event, and you, we can log in here. Whoops, let me move that back over to the middle. We can log in here, and well, these are history. We'll take a look at some uh, scheduled events, and we can see that your event, uh, the Talking Beard event, is uh, set for May. Uh, talking beards and we can come in here and see the categories uh so uh, once the system is launched you'll be able to click on each of these categories and it'll show a list of pictures and names and people and then you'll just be able to pick uh who you think deserves to win this is good this is going to be so much fun uh, you know on the back end we've got the system does a lot of things but uh we'll be able to track exactly who gets what score um uh, how many people voted for them? We can look here at fan voting for historical events and see details of events that have happened in the past. So um, let me see here if I can pull up a completed event. So we can see different um, individuals that got different scores based on their categories, who got the most points overall. Uh, so the nice thing about the application is it it stores this data <laughs> forever, right? So um, you can come back three, four years after an event and get every detail, all the points that individuals got, how many votes they got. Uh, you get a lot of detail. And, and of course, we've got uh, the concept of uh, uh, the fantasy facial hair or the fantasy beard cards, which are like a baseball card on the app itself, where you can see people's stats, uh, what events they attended, how they scored, things like that. Uh, Anthony, no, you go to you have to download the FHL app and register yourself on there. Um, but if you want to register for our event, you need to go over to either uh, talkingbeards.com dot com and, and when you get there, hit the competitive com- competition button on the top. Or if you're on the Facebook page, uh, there's an event page already made up for it. So you want to go to our Eventbrite link, and then that's how you register for it. Yeah, so you, you purchase your ticket for the category, and then that's when we know what category to put you in once you send us the picture. So, Yeah, so we got we got some time for this, people. So, you know, if you guys got questions and stuff, feel free to email us at TalkingBeards1 at Gmail or DM us on Facebook and stuff like that. So Yeah, if, if you know how to get a hold of us, just get a hold of us and, and – We'll, we'll we'll walk you through it. I know this is this is all uncharted territory, and and we're we're going to learn along the way as well. So maybe on uh, Talking Beards, the competition volume two, we'll have some bugs worked out. So we'll we'll get it figured out. And and the thing was is we kind of wanted to do something that was totally different than hadn't been done with online beard competitions because you know there's been the typical. Um, you know, post a picture, you know, click letter B for this guy, letter F for this guy, you know, s- typical stuff like that. And I, and I know the, the LA guys are trying to do something different with, with act- actually yeah. holding the competition in a Zoom chat room with all the people there, which, I mean, to me, that sounds like s- extremely chaotic, but I mean, it also might be like the best way to do it. I, I mean, we don't know. We're in uncharted territory right now and this was just Oregon's going to do theirs on Facebook live I think something like that yeah and I mean in our competition will be broadcast right here on the same place where you guys are watching this show or on talkingbeards.com I mean you guys will know when it's all happening and when it's going on and everything so 
be on the lookout for that May 9th. So be on the lookout. Beautiful. So bad. Guys, I, I, guys, I added your club to the event. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Yeah, we are official we're, Talking Beards we're the club. club now. There you go. Boom. Talking Beards the club. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, Brett. Brett. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming in tonight and talking us through the FHL a little bit. And yeah, so I don't know. You yeah. Any, any thoughts, comments, concerns? Uh, no, not at all. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, I'm going to send you guys a box tomorrow with a bunch of swag for you guys to give away uh, for uh, for your shows up uh, all the way up to the event. Uh, and then we'll have some prizes for the fantasy voters and for, for some of the competitor, winning competitors as well. This in is different all categories. I like this. I'm going to DM Scoot with inappropriate questions. I bet you are. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Brett. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Go over to FacialHairLeague.com and go over to uh, Apple, the Apple App Store and download the FHL app and the Google Store and download the Google app for your Android phone. And uh, make sure you guys get all signed up on there. How do I join the Talking Beards Club? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out together. Hey, if you There's go... There's a lot of hazing involved. <laughs> yeah, oh, tons. If you go on the FHL, FHL uh, app and you're registering yourself, you can register yourself under the Talking Beards Club if you want. There you go. See? That's how you do it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Brett. We appreciate you. And uh, yeah. Your biggest Got admirer in Kara is saying bye, Brett. <laughs> oh. Hey, loving Kara. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. You just made her day. I did. Oh. She's awesome. Great she photographer. Is. Great photographer, man. She's great everything. Yes. I know. And she travels. I don't know how. She goes to – I see her everywhere. She's all over the her, place. Her arms get real tired. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Thank I'm you gonna, a lot, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to leave on that terrible dad joke, okay? <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay. See you, Brett. Thanks. All right. Bye. That was Brett. He did it. He was so that good was, looking. That was Brett. I don't think we're going to get through trivia in six minutes. I think we are. All right. So tonight's trivia is brought to you by Andrew Wait. Matson. We don't have to do trivia, you know. Do people? All right. How about this? Do people? Do you guys want trivia, or we can continue going on about the competition? We can give you all the categories. What do you say, Aaron? Do you want, do you want to make like a on the fly change here? Do something. I don't care. Different? We, we've already got trivia written for next week, so Andrew won't have to do it. This works out good then. Uh -oh. I mean, it's it's come on, Brett Strauss trivia. All right, then they say keep, keep talking. talking. All right, well, we'll just keep talking for a few minutes. So, uh, yeah, so the categories. The categories. Go ahead. All right, so like I said, our first category we have is the quarantine beard. And as I had said before, I mean, this is for the guys that, you know, normally had to shave for work for like, it's equivalent to a business beard which would be a normal category in any competition out there for the most part. Trivia is the only... Oh, shut, you, up, shut up, Shannon. Yeah, shut, we're going to ban you from the room, chicken bread. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, all right, yeah. So, I mean, this is just the general, like, you, you know, the business beard, you know, just anything that's, like, under a couple months, which, you know, that's why we're calling it the quarantine beard because it'll probably be about a month old or something. Um, the next category up is the mustache category. Um, this is pretty much just your plain basic mustache. Like if you, you know, nothing doesn't have to be anything fancy to it. Um, yeah, just, you know, natural mustache essentially. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next one is a styled mustache. Now this can just be, it can be just as simple as like Aaron's like face right now, like t yeah. how he used the, uh, the stash rolls there. I mean, it could be that. Or if you want to go hardcore and like, you know, wax it up and do a dolly or an English style, whatever you Something want. Something with product. Yeah. Yeah. A styling aid. Yeah. We're not and like. Styled mustache. Yeah. We're not like, our rules are just super stripped down, basic, easy stuff. Not like, you no. know, I mean, because we just want it to be simple, basic, easy, fun for anyone to join, anyone to play. And I don't know if we had said this earlier, but we're limiting each category to 20 participants because just because it could get out of hand really quick. But we so just you, want you need to get registered fast. Yeah. Because all these categories are going to add up. Yeah. To, fill up. to five. Um, no. 
But uh, really? yeah, so but we don't want to discourage you from you know we still want you to if you can't get in on this one we're we're like we said we're planning on continuing this rolling it through summer if we have to um and so we just want to make sure that you know everyone can get a chance to compete at some point so um after the style mustache is chops yeah so the, these are you know these are general sideburns that you can run down your cheeks but are so s- what separated wow by a clean shaven chin um, mustache is optional for this one. Just a reminder: Talking Beards does not condone you to choose this type of facial hairstyle. So, you know, we we don't support this activity, but we will at least let you compete. Thank you. Good night, Anthony, and don't forget. Don't what's what are we not supposed to forget to do every Tuesday night? Remind who what? Uh, Kenny, Kenny Parbell. Parbell, take your trash out. That's right. He's not here. Kenny Parbell quit showing up. Yeah. He, I bet his trash is piling up. I know. Uh, next is the whaler, which, uh, as I've written here, it's the dumbest of all facial styles. The Donegal or Amish beard is, is nothing more than a beard without a mustache. See, it's pretty dumb. So if you have a whaler, like Chicken Bread. Tyler Hill. Tyler Hill or uh, who else? North Dakota Watts. You know, you guys are, we'll let you come and play, but. Robert Mavic. Right. You know, he's cool yeah. though. We, mm, yeah, Robert's cool. we like him. The other guys, not so much. Yeah, so much. What's category number six? Aaron? Question, question. <laughs> uh, category number six, uh, the greatest of all facial hairstyles. This is the goatee category. Uh, it's pretty much shaving down a couple inches from the top of where your sideburn would start, clean shaving on the cheeks, you know, a goatee, you know. So we're not going to be able to bust measurements out on you. So if it looks like you got a goatee. It's good enough for us. So yeah. yeah. Uh, full beard, number seven, under four inches. So if your beard is like, you know. Under see, four inches. Yeah, under four inches. And you measure it from right here. The bottom of your lip down. Yep. Not from your chin, from the bottom yeah, that- of your lip. So pretty much everybody already has like a, a one inch, two inch long beard, even without facial hair. I know. You believe so, that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, category number eight, we'll just move on along. That'll be full beard four to eight. Doesn't really need a whole lot of uh, explaining. Same thing. You measure from your lip down. If you you fall between four to eight inches, you're good to go for category eight. Same goes with category nine. Eight to 12 inches, same deal. Measure from your lip. You fall between eight to 12 inches to the bottom of your uh your beard hair, there you go, 8 to 12. And then super beard, category number 10. If you are over 12 inches long from the bottom of your lip down, there you go. So this is – that category, you're probably going to need some help uh, with your picture. So a selfie might not do in that situation. So you might need someone to help you out with that one. You so. might. You might. Yeah. Uh, number 11 is a styled mustache with any type of beard. So if you have a partial beard uh, or if you have a full beard, and you want to do a styled mustache and a beard? Go there you for go. it. That's the, this is the category for you. It is. Um, and then what do we have? The, oh, number 12, the freestyle partial and full beard. So yeah, so we're lumping the, the full full beard and the partials into the same category here. So, All right. Go next one, Aaron. Yeah. Category number 13, there'll be realistic whiskerina. So everybody knows what that means. It's a whiskerina built beard that looks like a real beard. That's it. So it's most realistic as possible with this category. So, you know, just men, women, children, doesn't matter. Just a a realistic looking creative beard. Use your own hair if you want. Just, you know, like some of the girls do. <clears throat> like C. Ortney. C. Ortney. She does that. Yep. Uh, Tell them that. Category uh, number 14. Uh, this will be the craft uh, whiskerina category. Yes. Honor system on length. So, yeah. Category 14 will be craft whiskerina. So, you can make a beard out of anything. You can use popcorn or bottle caps or, you know, I don't know, pictures. 
whatever, whatever you, you can find laying around your house since you're on quarantine, make a beard out of it and attach it to your face and take a picture. And make sure it needs to be beard shaped too. Yes. Beard shaped beard. So category 14. Now this, this one, not entirely sure how we're going to do this. We're still going to try to figure it out, but, uh, category number 15 will be the combo beard. This is a Talking Beards exclusive category. It's something that we've talked about before. We've kind of joked around, joked about on the show, but we're going to try to make it a reality. So this is one we have been talking about for years. You tag team beard. How this works is if you have a goatee, team up with a chops guy, you make a full beard. If you have a whaler, team up with a mustache guy, you make a full beard. And that's how that's going to work. So, yeah. So, the way we're going to try to do this one is find like some guy that you're friends with, like, say, uh, let's try to give an example here. Um, like I would team up with Patrick Quinn. So, I'd be like, Patrick, do you want to do this? He'd be like, yeah. So, you guys sign up as a team. So, then what you'll do then is you'll submit a picture of, I would submit a picture of me. And then we would do a split screen and then Patrick. So our two beards together and then the people would vote on, hey, these two guys beards put together would be pretty awesome. Or like we said, uh, if you have like a guy who has a a whaler and you know someone who has a really awesome mustache, like, you know, message him up and be like, hey, do you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. Send me a picture. So then you'll be submitting two pictures and then we'll put them side by side so people can vote on as like what it would represent if they were together. There you go. So yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll figure this out. We got a few weeks. So if you, uh, any goatee or chops guys want to team up or whaler mustaches, or I don't know if you have a, uh, say the chicken breads, say if, you know, Tisha wants to make a a big giant mustache and team up with Shannon, go for it. It's, you you know, it's it's, it's all for fun. You know what I mean? So whatever y'all want to do and, We'll figure it out, and we'll all learn together. Yep. So. so this is the button right here, the entry form, which takes you. You click on it, and it takes you over the event bright page. Uh, all the same information is listed right there that's on the website and under the Facebook uh, event page. What you're going to want to do then is go click on tickets. Biggity bam Here are all of the categories. So if you're – if you want to – do a whale or you'd just be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to donate $5, blah, blah, blah. And then you go to checkout and you'll be entered into that. And it tells you how many spots are remaining. So like we said, you want to make sure that you get in here as soon as possible if you want to get in on this. So we've already. Oh, yeah. Cause spots are going to fill up fast. Well, we've already sold four in the four to eight inch part right there. So there you go. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we've built several during this episode. So, yeah. you know, everybody, everything's going to a good cause. And we'll, uh, we'll have the, uh, my sister on in a few weeks and she can talk all about the, the family center. So everybody knows where this money's going. It, it's going to a good cause. So, yeah. So, and if you want to know exactly, I mean, like everyone's been joking with me as we've been working on this about how I tend to be a little bit wordy and over exp- Explaining with stuff as I could see you shaking your heads over there. Um, you can look at this, read it, and it'll, there'll be all the links here or whatever. Or like at the top of the page, there's the four easy steps. So uh, either That's way, how I would have wrote it right there. Yeah, but you did. You have the Aaron version it. and then the Scott version at the bottom. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. So and like we said, um, and we're gonna get some really awesome, cool products and stuff that Honest Amish is gonna donate and send you. And we're really excited about teaming up with them. Not that we never teamed up with them before, but I mean, you know, they they we're gonna team up again. We're gonna so. team up again, and they've been awesome supporters of ours since day one, and we thoroughly love them and we support them. And we, you know, anytime anyone asks us about what we use, what we want honestamish.com that they by far have the best stuff out there. So, so awesome. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Don Shea. He, uh, he's going to let his club know all about it. So yeah, the event, the event page is up. We'll, we'll be sharing the heck out of it. We'll, we'll probably boost it. If everybody, you know, wants to share our event page on their pages until 
everybody about it. If you, if you, you work with someone, if you're one of those lucky people that are still working, anybody can get involved. I mean, anybody that's ever even thought about being part of a beer competition, that here's your opportunity yeah, if, if to never, be a part of a beer competition. If you, you don't, yeah, if you, you don't never, have to travel anywhere, you just, you just log on, you, you, it's easy. So it, this should, you know, yeah, and should the be thing, a fun thing. And, and and I know a lot of you too, like there's been people out there that I've talked to that they've been like, well, I don't want to get up on stage and, you know, I, I may have stage fright. I don't want to get up in front of people. This is the perfect opportunity for you. Um, Take a selfie. Boom. You're done. Well, Sit sorry. back and uh, watch the show. Watch it all unfold that night. So Yeah. So, yes, you can do multiple categories if you'd like. Um, we just, if you want to donate for each one you do, that would be, we would like that but you don't have yeah, to so, so yeah if, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that then you'll have to buy per purchase a ticket per category so. yeah so if you want to don't say for instance if you wanted to donate thirty dollars and you wanted to do three categories well then just donate ten dollars per category there you or go. 30 per if you want to donate 90 whatever yeah there you go i mean that would definitely be the best route or a million per category you know people like andrew mattson that's super rich you can go ahead and just do that look at this mark jones Come on, Mark Jones. That's uh, Mike Jones's brother. Oh my goodness! I thought it was Daryl Jones's cousin. Mm. Nope, Mike Jones's brother. Oh. You know how that's see his first name's Mark, kind of oh. like Mike. Anyway, yeah. So it, it is nine oh eight. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah, we got to get out um, of here. We can we can talk about this again next week. So yeah. um, if anybody has any questions, don't don't hesitate to reach out to one of us and send us a Facebook message or you have a phone number, text us, or you could send us an email talking beards one at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, any, any questions, comments or concerns you, uh, reach out. And if you have an issue with the website or something's weird, let us know because we're still learning through this whole process as well. So I am, no one knows what Scott's doing. I was reaching out. <laughs> Scott was reaching out. Sorry. I am Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for tuning in tonight. And uh, sorry we didn't get to trivia, but we, we had a full show. So uh, next week we will have Brett Strauss trivia pre, pre-written by Andrew Matson. So thank you for stopping by. And Scott. I am Scott Sikor. You can find out more information about me by going over to my Facebook page if you so choose. Uh, like we said um, – you See, message- I told you, Mike Jones's brother. I freaking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, direct message either myself or Aaron or our Facebook page, or like he said, Talking Beards One at Gmail. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, you know, we'll 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 try to get back to you as, as fast as possible. Um, hands above the desk, Scott. What is that supposed to mean? Um, Insist. But anyways, make sure you guys go over to uh, talkingbeards.com. Uh, like I said, if you want information on, on the competition itself, you go to talkingbeards.com. At the very top of the page, there'll be a header that says competition. Click it. Or if you're uh, friends with us on Facebook, there'll be an event page right there, and that'll have all the same exact information. So it's the same information, just one's in a prettier form on the website and one's just a regular text boring form on uh facebook so but or if you, i just thought about this if you have any other questions you can just post on the event page so if we answer the question on the event page and anyone else has that same question there you go it's in there so that's you're so smart that's why I, you're that's uh, why we do this together there you go so yeah there i you got go. the looks you got the smarts that's right i got the looks definitely all right, so thank you everyone for joining us tonight, and uh, thank you everyone that's going to participate in this. We're really excited about it, and we shall see you guys all next week. Thank you so much for checking in tonight. Yeah, thank you for uh, stopping by, and don't forget to share this episode. God, we look so good. Share, share this episode. Okay, bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to TalkingBeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at Facebook.com slash Talking Beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. 
Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.